Hi, this is Rebecca from Journal Tsunami, and today the tool we're going to go over is called Keywords Everywhere. And it is an absolutely necessary tool, I believe, in the work that we're doing when we're researching low content books. I already have it installed, and what you'll notice is that I have all of these keywords showing up on the side of my Google search page. This is incredibly valuable here because I'm seeing the keyword volume for Google searches. Now, how does that work for Amazon? Well, they are slightly different, but it is a value to know what is being searched on Google because eventually your Amazon book, your title, your subtitle, and your description are going to be indexed on Google. So making sure that you're using words that are not just used on Amazon, but also will be picked up in the Google search engines. Just imagine if your book was ranking on page one or two of Google, uh, that can drive some really great organic traffic. So something to think about. All we need to do is basically just type into Google keywords everywhere. You click on this link right here. It takes you to this page. You'll install for either one of your um, browsers. Now I of course use Chrome because the vast majority of the tools that I'm talking about are used in Chrome. So if you want to use Firefox, that's fine. Uh, but the vast majority of the tools that I use for my research all have Chrome extensions. Now they do have a paid version of this tool, but we don't need the paid version at this time. Once you install the Chrome version, it shows up, it's a little circle with a K in it, and then what it's going to ask you to do is to basically um, You'll, uh, you'll have to actually get a keyword tool. Um, it'll ask you to, here, let me click on that right there. You'll need to get a free API key, and all you do is click on that, follow the instructions. It will send you the API key. It will ask for your email to make sure that you're not a bot or some sort of a computerized person and then it basically will uh, you'll put in the API key where it tells you to you just follow the instructions and then you'll be able to search and take a look at lots of different keywords now why is this a value for us it's because when we are on Amazon and we're searching we'll just search in journals to write in See all of these words, these numbers right here? These are returning because I have keywords everywhere installed. If you don't have it installed, you won't see these numbers. Now the value of these numbers isn't because these numbers are, are Amazon search results. Amazon really doesn't share their actual search results. But this gives us a good ballpark to let us know how many people are searching for these words on Google because obviously, again, if I am titling my book correctly and I want it to show up in the Google search results, then knowing this information is valuable to me because it's telling me that these terms are useful. Now it isn't giving me the results for these over here uh, and this is the Amazon AMZ uh, Keyword Suggestion Expander which is another tool that I made a video on and it's a must tool. If you don't have this tool installed all you'll see is the words in this white box. The AMZ Tool Expander is also giving me the words before, the words after, and other words to consider. So uh, take a look at that video where I talk about this particular tool. So if you only have just uh, keywords everywhere installed, then you'll see this white box and you'll see these numbers here. And again, these numbers are Google search results, 
not Amazon search results, but it does give us a good understanding of if these words are even searched. You'd be surprised at words that you might think are being searched when in fact they're not. So it's, it's very enlightening when you're doing your research. So that's all for this tool today. It's a very simple, easy, straightforward tool to, to use. You just install it, get your free API key, clicking on the button, following their instructions, and then every time you do a Google search or an Amazon search, then you will get great keyword information right on your dashboard. Can't beat it.